Yeah. Well, you know what? We started this list a few days ago. Yes, we did. And we got to finish it up. Got to finish it up. So we were talking about our top 20 mm -hmm. games that utilize cards. Yes, and now we're from 10 to 1. 10 to Everybody's 1. Everybody's been waiting. Everybody's yeah. been waiting. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah. Let's do it because we're going we gonna to do it. We're going to do it. So, you know, I don't know. Again, we always talk about how it's so hard yes. for us Woo. to come together. To be cooperative. To come together. <laughs> to come together. Don't you hear me? It's so hard, huh? Don't you hear me say cooperative? What? To be cooperative. To come up with come up We're with gonna the, be co-op yes, for this. To make the sense yes. of We're gonna be co-op so for this. Yes. So but we, we did it. We okay. made a decision. All right. All right. And so number ten yeah. uh -huh. is one of my husband's favorites. Yes, I win. I win. And it's called Fox in the Forest. Fox in the Forest, baby. Now, Fox in the Forest is a trick-taking game. Mm -hmm. From Renegade Games. And it's a two-player. Yeah. It's not nice to me. It's not nice to her because, you know, you have the, the you have a couple of sets in there. But I like yeah. to think about three sets. And some of the cards have some special powers on it. Yeah. That, you know, it's just not, you know, just playing some spades that you used to. It has some cards on it that change the game yeah, on you a little and, bit. And see, the yeah. thing with this game is that, you know, my husband's like, well, you play spades. Yeah. You should be good at this. You should be good. But see, it changes it the changes. trunk suit. And so for some reason, he always seems to yeah. get the upper hand yeah. in this game. Yes. I don't know yes. what it is. Because I'm good. I'm good at it. Maybe in this one, but not in spades. Uh, uh, yeah, not in spades. Not in spades. No, but not in Fox in the Forest is hand management. Mm -hmm. It's trick taking. I like it. I like know. it. I like it. I, you know, I I, I, like I, I tease him about winning. Yeah. You know, so because I I do it a little bit and I enjoy it. <laughs> but because the rest of the time, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? Some games are nice to me. Some are not. Yeah. This happens to be one. Yes. So I let yeah. him have it. Let me have it. Yeah. Let me have okay. it. Right. Okay. Okay. So Thank number you. nine. All right, number nine. Now this is <laughs> now we've had this from the beginning yeah. of us playing. Yes. And we've always liked it. Yeah. And and even though there's a couple of, there's that one card that I don't like, but everything else is cool. And that's Sushi Go from sushi Game Go. Right? Yes. From Game Right. Now yes. Sushi Go, the story behind that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that we were at a meetup. Yes. And we saw people playing this game. We'd never seen anything like no. it. No. Turn, we didn't know passing what this cards was. around and taking a yeah, card that you like and pass. What, what is we're that? Like, what are they doing? So we watched doing? it for a while, and then the guy that was teaching it invited mm -hmm. us to sit mm -hmm. down and play. Mm -hmm. And we were a little slow yeah, catching on, you know. Slow. But we were willing to learn. Yes, and, keep that and, open mind, y'all. Yeah, we were willing to learn, and we just saw how much fun these other people were having. And I'm like, let's try it out. Yes. And yes. once we learned it, we did a few rounds, and we mm -hmm. finally got it. Mm -hmm. We had to get it. Had to get it. So it's been a nice it collection because it's fun. Woo. And then the little cards are cute. They got little sushi, you even got, though they, you know they're going to die in a yeah. minute. But, you know, you, it's, it's fun. The little sushis are so yeah, cute. Yeah, they look cute. They look yeah. cute. And then, you boy, but when you put them down, you better have, you know, you better have that dessert. You know, that dessert. If you don't have a dessert, yes. you get hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I like that. I like that. Yes. Yeah, so, if you don't have a dessert, you get hurt. So yeah, yeah Sushi Go is a good game. It's a nice little party game. Yeah. Uh, it's light. Yeah. But it's fun. It's fun. It is fun. Because it takes up, I think, the six folk. Up six people. And then if you get the 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 version, the next version that came out, which is Sushi Go Party that we do have, mm -hmm. it goes to eight. And yes. I like that. That's a real good, you know, family game that everybody yeah. can play. And you get to easy. change out some of the cards. Yeah, you can change yeah. out some of the cards because that chopstick yeah. card, ooh, ooh, that chopstick, it get a little confusing there. Chopsticks now. are interesting. Ooh, but I do like it. It's, yes. it's really fun. Yeah. Now, this next one, number eight. Yes. Is... Yes. You got to tell a story on that one, too. Oh, yeah. Cat yeah. Lady. The Cat Lady by AEG. AEG. Yeah. Now, Cat Lady is a card drafting game, and it also involves set collections. Yes. Cat Lady, we just actually learned Cat Lady just Not last year. Yeah, it was in 2019. Yeah, last year. We were invited to a little game meetup mm -hmm. in Lincoln, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Nora Jane from uh, NewCon yes. uh, asked us to sit down and learn Cat Nora Lady. Nora Jane. Yeah. And... It's the cutest thing. Yeah. I, I love it. Some people say, oh, the artwork is not all that great. I but like the I like artwork. the little cats and the like cat it. names. And you're trying to get the cat, <laughs> you know, the row that you want. Yeah. And you got to make sure you feed, get resources. Well, you got to feed the cat. You got to feed the cats in order yeah. to get those points. Every cat has to eat if you, you know, want to get points. Yeah, you want to get cat. points. So you got to so, yeah. figure out how you get. And then what I like, you know, <laughs> but you got that little cat. 
that stands in the way of you getting either one of the yes. rows or the columns. Yes. But what I like about it, it's so thematic that you have a spray bottle. <laughs> Like you can spray that little the thing. Get you can spray it and get it out the way. I love also, that. I love that you got toys for your yes, cat. Yes, you do. And costumes. And costumes. You can dress your cats up. Costumes. And make them look cute. Yeah, and you better have that catnip, too. Oh, that's right. If you right. don't have no catnip, have some catnip, you get some negative points. <laughs> right. yeah. But that's number eight. That's cat lady. Yeah. Now, number seven is another one of my family favorites, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I got to quit saying that because all these games all are these, Yeah, because if they're in the top ten, they are favorites. They are our favorites. They so are our favorites. I don't have to keep telling you that. It's yeah, a favorite. It's our favorite. So, Century Spice Road. Yes, yes. Century Spice Road is two to five players, mm -hmm. and it's by... Oh. Plan B Games. Plan B Games. Plan B Games. We like them because we, we got do. the whole trilogy. Yes, we do. We got the whole trilogy. <laughs> yes. So, it's card drafting, mm -hmm. deck building, hand management, and set collection. Yes, it's really good. Now, you're talking about a gateway game? That's one. It's a gateway game, but yes. sometimes, I don't know. I, I guess I would introduce people to it, but it's... Yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not a bad to introduce. Well, it's not bad. I think it's, I think it's more... It has more to do than Splendor, actually. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I think a lot yeah. of people are saying this is a Splendor killer. Yeah, no, but it's not. I don't it's think not. it's a Splendor You can have both of them in your no, collection. You, you got to have both. You got to have, have both. both. Yeah, you got to yeah, have both. Yeah, but I love Century Spice Road, and I love the spicy mm -hmm. that you have to collect in yeah. order to fulfill the cards and get points. I yeah. love that aspect of it. Yeah. And, and I, I mean, it's a good game. It's a good it's game. Solid. It's that's it's a, what it is. Hey, it's in the it's top solid. It's a it's solid, solid game. It's solid. But it is That's not right. a Splendor Killer. No, it's not. Not at all. Not I at hate all. when they try to say games it's kill, kill, game kill. kill. No, no. If you want to have games that are two good ones that are almost the same, have them in your collection. We do. It's so kind of like, yeah. like women in shoes. You know, you can have a ton of the yeah, same shoes. you love your shoes. shoes, Lord Jesus. Oh, you know, Lord. I have to tell myself I'm not yeah. buying black shoes anymore because mm. I probably got about 15 pairs of black shoes. And so I just... Anyway, yeah. you you can yeah. never have too many shoes. No, no, you can and have too many reason, shoes. And, you can have too many and shoes. And some reason in this household, we just can't seem to have enough games. Oh, oh. We're working on that. You can have as many shoes you want, baby. <laughs> you have as many shoes you want. You can we, have we, many we shoes. have entirely too many games. Have many so. shoes you want. You can you have the shoes. So now we yeah. got this figured out. Right, we got it all you figured out. You like to about shoes? But I am going to complain about those games. It's too many of them. Yeah. Well, I let you get you like those little glittery shoes you got right. in there. You haven't it, used it them yet. It doesn't matter. What, what are the it glittery doesn't. shoes? Okay, then when I get as many shoes as we have games, then we'll talk. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Let's yes. move on. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, we're digressing. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Our next one is okay. number six, and it is Citadel. 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 Citadel's plays two to eight players, mm -hmm. and it is by. You gonna tell? Asthma D. Asthma D. Asthma D. Asthma D. Yeah. And it was so cool about Sid <laughs> We got the 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 version that have gives you all of the cards, all the expansions and everything. So we have it all in there. Where you have to do a little bluffing. Yeah. You gotta do a little, you know, like trying to bluff a little trying bit. to make sure that you get by because you have some treacherous cards mm. in there, like you know, like the thief and the warlord and stuff, and you're yes. trying to build up your your little, I guess, city or your your your, your castle area. Yeah, you you're can't to, let your opponents yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah, you got to, and you're trying to make sure that you know you got you got to live because yeah. you don't want to get uh, you know kicked out. That's right. Yeah, you don't get kicked so out. It's so it's card like drafting. That. You use a set collection. So I mean, it's got variable player power. Yes, yes. I mean, the mechanics yes. in this game. It's just, it's a variety, and it yeah. keeps you interested. Yes, it does. So, yeah, that's one you want to have. And, and that's a this. family game, too. Yeah, also a family yeah, game. Yeah, it's a family Grant game. Grant likes it. He's yeah, playing. he, he does. Likes he it. does. So, you know, we get that teenage Because some of those come, some of those cards make you go after <laughs> yeah. folks. You know, make you go after folks. You that. know, and I like the Warlord, too. I like the Warlord. Yeah, of course you do. Of course. I like the Warlord, yeah. yeah. Now, number five. And that's a fun one. It's and we've fun. had that for a long time, too. Yeah. Yes, we have. Not quite as long as, as a Sushi Go. No. But it's kind of like no. Sushi Go to me in a way. You know, because you know, I won it at yeah. a um, International Tabletop Day competition. You did. Competition. Uh, no, no, not uh, just uh, International Tabletop Day yeah. Day. Yeah. And it, we would comp compete in Catan, and I won it. <laughs> You yeah. know, love well, that contain, but yeah. you know, and I won it, and I was like, just desserts, it's just desserts. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, Looney Labs. I said, yeah, I know Looney Labs, so. Let's go for it. So I said, let's let's try it out. You know, just dessert. Yeah. And we love it. Yeah, just desserts is a really cute game yeah. where you've got these customers and you have to fulfill their dessert orders. Mm -hmm. So somebody may want chocolate ice cream. Somebody may want mousse. Boston cream pie. 
and you've got to find those cards yes. that will fulfill that dessert. Yes. Now, you don't always have to do it exactly. So if the Boston cream pie requires chocolate and ice cream, as long as you have a card that has chocolate and then one that has ice cream, you can put those together, mm -hmm. and that's considered a fulfillment for that card. So I really love Just Desserts. Yeah, because, you know, you have to, it's that tension where, okay, do I use these cards mm -hmm. that have desserts on them that I might be able to use on some mm -hmm. customers? Do I use it, you know, now, or do I hold on to yeah. it, you know, or do I use it now so I can use the ingredients on it? Because it's yeah. like a multi-use card. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I love those multi-use cards. Even if you yeah. fulfill it exactly, if you get exactly what they want, you get extra turn. Yeah, you so, get, get an extra card. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, that's the benefit of trying to wait around to do an exact fulfillment, or you go ahead and just use the ingredients yeah. and just fulfill it so you can move on to the next yeah, one. It's, it's so a, you got to make that decision. Yeah, it's a real fun game, though. It is. It's and, it, you know, it's not getting much love, either. I know, but I, I guess maybe people just want to talk about it. It's a good travel game, though. It is a good travel yeah, game. Yeah, good travel Small game. Small box, it's a card Small, game. Yeah, good travel game, so... Yeah. Check it out. Check out. Check it dessert. out. Check it out. Check it out. Now, our next one, we talked about this one before. Mm -hmm. It's another one that's kind of new to our collection because we just got it last yes, year. Yes, yes, yes. Point salad. Oh, point salad. <laughs> point salad is two to six players. And it is by AEG. AEG. Yeah. Woo. Now, it's card drafting. Yes, it it's is. It's set collection. Yes, and it it's is. And it's multi use cards. Yes, it is. And it's fun because you're building a salad. But you're not really building a salad. You no, use, you're it's a point it's, salad because you're, you're trying to try get those points any way yeah. you can from those cards. But what I love is that, yeah. you know, the designers did a play on words because yeah. a lot of people say games are point salads yeah. where you can get a whole bunch of points in different ways. Yeah. And so they just called it point salad. And you can get a whole bunch of points in different, different ways. ways. Yeah. <laughs> but they yeah. use salad ingredients. So that's what I think is so cute. Because I'm the salad eater. Yes, I, yeah. I don't like salad, yes, don't but like I do salad. like point salad. Yes, I yes, don't like regular yes. salad. No, yeah, you don't like salad I like my salad. vegetables cooked. Yeah. I just don't do the raw vegetables. Yes, she but does not. Yeah. point salad is really cute. Yes, it is. You got carrots. Yes, and tomatoes. Yes, and cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> cabbage and onions so, and onions yeah, so, yeah. I mean, and tomatoes and, and, yeah. and bell tomatoes? peppers yeah, to, uh, tomatoes yeah. and bell yeah. peppers so yeah. there's different types of vegetables in there mm -hmm. but it's so cute and it's the only salad I'll play with that's right oh and I, like I don't that. have to eat I like it. that I like <laughs> I that yeah I like that <laughs> so that's number four point salad yep now, number three. Ooh, we love this one. Now, this is one I don't think we've ever Ooh. talked about. No, I, I don't think we I have. I don't think we've ever talked about this one. Because it's fun. We like this one. We well, like you know, one. but it, and it's a good game. So, yeah. it's Imperial Settlers. From Portal Games. One to four players. Yeah. And you are constructing buildings. Yes. You're going to harvest resources. Yes, we do. And then you get a chance to attack your neighbors. Ooh. And then you have those different, you have different... Player powers too, because yes. one one civilization is different from the other mm -hmm. and can do different things with the cards. Yes, you may be playing the Egyptians. Yeah, or the Romans. Yeah, so you I, I, like the Romans. I like you the Romans. I like the Romans. I like the Romans. So, but yeah. you get a chance to attack your neighbors. You can. You always like play the Egyptians, don't I you? I like the Egyptians. Yeah. So the different ways to play the game, but I love it. I mean, it's just the way that you my Egyptian queen. Thank you. Yeah. There but you go. but yeah. yeah. Imperial settlers. Mm -hmm. I don't think people talk about that enough. Either. They do because you know they have that new uh, new expansion that I uh, you know oh, that I have right. you know that I got yes. you know I got that one uh, the yes. rise of the empire that yeah. that brings it into an open world. Yes, you yes. know I want to try that one out. So I got that one so we can try that one oh, out. We haven't yeah. tried that out. Yeah, we got to try but that one out. We're going to. We're going, we're going to. to. We're going to. It's on the shelf of shame. Yeah. We're trying. We're trying. We're trying, we're trying, y'all. We're trying, y'all. <laughs> it's a we're lot. Trying. We're, we're trying, trying to keep up. We're trying. Now we're number two. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This, we're getting to the end of this list. Mm hmm. And it's a big one. one. We love it. This one is one of my favorites. <laughs> this is your favorite. This is your favorite. Because you love to teach this no, one, too. Know, I hate you to love say, to teach this one. You know, I hate to say my okay. favorite because right. there's so many games. Yeah. And, and each one's different. It's just yeah. like, okay, I love ice cream, but I also love cake. Yeah. You know, I yeah. love pie, yeah. Yeah. but I also love cookies. Yeah. It's just yeah. like all those sweet things that you like. Yes. And this is just one of them. Yes. So my number two or our number two. Our number two. Because this is this is thing here. That's right. It's, it's our number two. Splendor. Splendor. Oh, we love Splendor. Yes, the, 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 <laughs> the chips. I mean, you know, the little uh, you the, know, gyms the gyms are like poker chips. Of like poker chip, pork, uh, poker, poker, poker <laughs> chips, and you poker just play chips. with those. Yeah, you know, and then uh, you have the cards are uh, kind of multi-use mm -hmm. too, kinda. You know, because they help you. You know, they help you sometimes give you points because yes, you need do. fifteen to win. Right. 
And but they also help you build an engine. Build that engine. That's you're right. Building that engine, so, baby. You're building that engine. Different ways to use yeah. those cars. And try and to get what those. What I love is that we are gym merchants. Yeah, and try to get those those nobles, those little mean yes. looking nobles. It, 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 you know, them, them nobles are always mean looking. Yeah. They're just oh, they're That's mean. Right. Come to you, your store, all but mean. But you want them to visit you because yeah. they give you points. Because like, we're gonna put a smile on their face. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we want those nobles to come to yeah. our little shop to come see our gym. Yes. So we have to work hard to get the nobles to come visit yes. us. Yes. And so we really love it as an engine builder. But as, as my husband was saying, you get to 15 points. The first one to get to 15, it brings the game to an yes. end. But you have to finish the round. And somebody might get 17, somebody may 18 get more points. on you. You never yeah, know how they end know. that round. So yeah, yeah. that's splendor. I love splendor. And it just resonates with people. Yes. And I just love it because it is so simple. It uses stuff people are used to, the cards, mm -hmm. and then the poker chips for the gyms. It's, it's just an awesome it game. It is an awesome game. And I, I love to teach it because it is. It's easy to teach. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's beautiful to look at. Yes, it I, is. It really is. I, yes, as for is. a card game, they did some really great artwork yes, on the cards. Is. And I love that. Yeah, but you know, on the expansion that we did get, yeah. we kind of... Mm, I like the original. Yeah. Yeah, I like the, like the base yeah, game. But I like the, the original game. You know, the expansion is cool. Some yeah. of the modules, there's like a few modules yeah. in there. Some of them are okay. Some mm -hmm. are, you know. So we'll talk on that one day. But yeah, yeah it's okay. But the original game yeah. is just beautiful yes, in it and is. of itself. Yes, it you is. don't yes, have it to is. have expansion. Number one. All right. Ooh. This was hard because I really wanted to have Splendor be number one. Yeah. Yeah, but this but, game we played so much, <laughs> we, we wore out the car. Yes, we did. We wore them out. And you know, I think that happens a lot with us when we get a new game that we mm -hmm. really like. Mm -hmm. We will play it over and, and over and, and over. over until we're actually ready to move on. Mm -hmm. You know, unlike some people, they'll get something new. Mm -hmm. They play it one time. They're ready mm -hmm. to go to the next one. Yeah, I can't do that with the game. No. I can't. I have to play it over. Because one thing, I want to get it solidified in my memory of how mm -hmm. the game is played. Yes. Because my husband always teases me about, you don't ever remember how the game is played. Oh, you never know. You no guys rules. see this wall, and then we have another shelf of games, and we have the games are ridiculous. I can't remember them all. I but can't. what? Okay. He remembers the most of them. But what I love about it is we can play it over and over and over. Mm -hmm. If I love it that much, then I will remember it. And mm -hmm. this is one of those games. Every time my husband would get home from work or whatever, let's play Oh My Good. Yes. Let's play Oh My Good. Yes. And that's number one. Oh, oh My, my Good. good. <laughs> we gave from, it away. From it's Lookout the, Games. From Lookout Games. Two to four players, and it is multi-use card to the yep. nth degree. Yes, it is. Now, when we first learned this game. You, you couldn't get it. I, I was confused. You couldn't get it. See, how, I couldn't how understand. You, how is the card my product? And I didn't understand how... It was my money. Your money. It was everything. Your product. Everything. And, and then you turn the cards a different way. Yeah. It's like, what? Like, what is that? So, yeah. It, it took me a little while to grasp it. But once but you once grasp I it, got, oh, I'm like, Lord. Wow. Woo. The designer was really just. Alexander Fister. Oh, that, that's, Fister. Yeah. Oh, we my like his God. stuff. Yeah, we like his he stuff. He was yeah. just really thinking out the box on this yes, one. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. I love the design because it's so unique. It, oh, my God. It's. It's just a good game. How you gotta, <laughs> you know, gotta have, you know, the get resources mm -hmm. and try to, you know, use the production chain yes. to get more resources and get higher. It's just, it's wild. Well, some of the mechanics are set collection, yeah, push your luck, push your luck, hand management, yeah, and of course the multi-use cards. Multi-use cards. It's fun. Oh my goodness. Man, oh my goodness. Oh my god. You there know, you go. Even there you though go. it's a small card game. I don't consider it a travel game because it does have a big footprint yes, yes, when you it put does. it on the table. Yes, it does. It's not like some games that's got a little small footprint. It can have a big footprint, mm -hmm. especially if you got four people trying to play. You will need a big table. Yes, you do. To, yes, you do. You know, to cover this game. So, but it is a great game. Mm -hmm. And these are our top ten. Yes. And we will have a list at the end of this video. I hope that you have some of these games we're talking about. And if you yeah. have them on your shelf yes. of shame. Take them off. Take them off and play them. Dust them off. Yeah. Play them. Play them. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, it, let us know what you think, you know, the top 10 should have been or what you got. What's yeah, your top 10? What's your top 10? Let us know. Give those comments. Like, you, know we, you know we read them. We read your comments. You know, we read them. We try to play as many games as we can, but yeah. there's just no way that we can play every game everybody has because there are thousands. We're trying. Thousands of games. But we do try. And what I do love is that those really, really good games, it's like they say, the cream comes to the top. Yes. Those yes. really, really good games, we find that most people will have 
the majority of the games we talk about because these are really solid games. Because, you know, we always look when we see, you know, yeah. like different reviewers and different people that show their games yeah, and stuff. We look like, what the, oh, they got Ticket to Ride and they some got, other stuff. Yeah, we always look looking. That just proves that those are really yeah. solid games. Yeah, because everybody people, got it. Yeah, because everybody got it. That means that it has a common theme right. or a common thread that people can identify with. Yeah. And those are the kind of games we really want to have in our collection. Like Terraforming Mars. No. Mm-hmm. That is not even on the list. Yeah, but I'm just saying everybody got that on their shelf. You know, it's a Kim, great why game. Why are you talking about terrible? Because it's a good game. Okay. All right, back to the because t- no. Okay. No. Well, I want you to play no, it. We're not gonna do that. Okay, this is, well. It's the wrong video. I know, but I, you okay. know, I'm just saying. Anyway. You say everybody on the on the you know on the have it on the shelf. Okay, we're back to our okay. top ten. I'm sorry. I'm and sorry. Again, I digress. Yeah. I digress. So here we go. This is our top 10 Mm -hmm, games mm -hmm. that utilize cards. Yes. Hope you enjoyed the video. It does utilize cards, though. Are we still talking about Terraform and Mars? I know. I want you to play it, though. It's not on this list. Okay, I know. Okay, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Yes. Hope you check out the next one. Yep. Thank you for watching us work through. Work through. (laughs) That's my girl, though. You're my girl. You're my girl. I was working through stuff. Yeah, yeah. But but also, find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and also hit the little notification bell so you can find out more things, you know, and for more videos that come out. Oh, and also, we got new shirts. So if you want new colors, check us out. And we're hoping to get some more colors in. So yes, keep yes. watching. We really yeah. like the color shirts. So check us out. And also, you can catch us on the Dice Tower mm-hmm. and tell a friend. Tell a friend. You know, if you know somebody who likes games or you want them to get interested, Tell them to check us out. And really, tell a family. <laughs> tell a right. family, tell you know, hey, family. check us out. Because we want some families playing yeah. these games because it's just fun. It is fun. Put some folk at the table. That's right. Let's have some fun. <laughs> and don't forget, get your shirt and become part of the OFPG family. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody, that's it. Bye. Bye-bye now. <laughs>